When faced with a stunning mountainous landscape and winding gravel stages begging to be driven, it is hard not to be inspired. The Sardinian stages favour the brave and the rewards are great. Yari Matti boldly opts to run first on the road on Thursday evening, hoping that with possible hanging dust and fading light, that it will be the right choice. Sadly, it isn't, and to add insult to injury, he also picks up a puncture and drops to sixth overall. Teammate Petter Solberg is in a stronger position, however, in third. The fight back begins tomorrow, and the drivers will risk everything for a good result. High in the hills, rally fans wait. They expect action and drama, and they will not be disappointed with what Friday has to deliver. Rather surprisingly, it's nine times World Rally Champion Sebastian Loeb who falls at the first hurdle. He only manages to make it past the first timing point before putting his car off the road. Next up was Thierry Neuville, who put his car on its roof as you can see as Petter speeds past. Then we lost a lot of time with Neuville there, he was in the middle of the road. So we lost a lot of time there, but... Uh, and then we calmed down a little bit after that, but it's okay, we have to go, sorry. The stages were unforgiving, and next to fall foul of Italian hospitality was Yari Matti. The Finn going off the road not once, but twice. I run wide on the left hand first, and I hit something. <clears throat> uh, a car was all right to drive, but I started to feel that the radiator is leaking. And I started to ask my co-driver, is it, is it, do you see the warning? And um, I, I stopped concentrating my notes. And then so suddenly the next right-hander came like a surprise for me. I, I didn't break it early enough. And then, so I hit the, I hit the gate and uh, basically landed on the, on the concrete stone. So that's it. Cool morning conditions mean that a varied tyre compound choice is seen across the drivers, with the majority opting for a soft compound. Tyre wear was extremely heavy. At the remote service, mechanics only have one car to work on, and that's the car of Petter Solberg, who's in second position, 25 seconds adrift of the lead, held by Miko Hevenen. Hard compound tyres were selected for the afternoon's hotter conditions. Petter was edging closer to Hirvinen until stage seven, where he hit a rock and retired from the day. Double disappointment for the team. Chris, it's been a dramatic day two here in Italy. What happened? It's all a bit disappointing, really. Um, you know, on that particular stage, we were trying to preserve our tyres, really, and, you know, we just weren't going at absolutely 100%, and you know, maybe we just went a wee bit too deep into the corner, and. Uh, We've had a rock with the front, uh, the front left corner, and it's broken the, it's broken some something on the car, and uh, our day's over. We knew we'd one long stage and a very very long road section, and you know we've got to think about road safety and everything as well. So uh, it would have been too dangerous to continue down the road section with it. So we just had to call it a day. Both cars return under Rally 2 rules for Saturday, but both drivers are very much disappointed with the mistakes they made on Friday. There seemed to be a more cautious approach now, especially from Petter. Today's a new day. Life goes on. <laughs> Although Yari Matti and Petter were not in podium position, that doesn't mean there were no Ford Fiestas in the top three. Quite the contrary. Customer team drivers Yevgeny Novikov and Ot Tanak were in second and third respectively, with Mads Osberg in fourth. This week has been a tough week all round with the announcement earlier in the week that uh, the Ford World Rally team will not be back in the championship next season. You know what we've got to look forward to is some of the excellent driving we've seen yesterday from uh, Novikov, Tanak and Mads Osberg. There's going to be a lot of change no doubt in the future now and hopefully this is the first of the changes we'll see that there'll be some new exciting talent that will get a chance to shine in the, in the rallies to come in future championships.
one day remained in Italy, just 16 competitive kilometres, which included the power stage. Both Yari Matti and Petter were keen to get as many points as possible. The stage is a difficult mixture of tight, uphill rocky sections, which lead into more open ground. It may only be eight kilometres, but it is not easy. Opens half long, keep it over crest and late, six left minus. Opens extra long, tight half long, tight, right right plus. Petter came through to take the win in the power stage at three extra driver points, with Yari Matti right behind taking two points. Just want to say really sorry to, to Malcolm and the, and the four team, you know. I, you know, I tried to do my best for everybody, but I I failed so I can't say anything else. Very disappointing, but my own fault. Yevgeny Novikov took second position overall, with Ot Tanak taking his first ever WRC podium in third. The final round of the WRC beckons. Rally Catalonia marks the close of the 2012 season.